Here to present the Americana Music Association's 2015 Lifetime Achievement Award for Songwriting is Mr. Robin Hitchcock. They've distilled so much of what America herself has distilled musically. Time out of mind from the lake of mirrors that you can't distinguish anything in it goes down so deep. Their alchemy has refined it into something so simple that nobody ever thought of it before, and now it's being copied openly by their many admirers. Like a jewel, they have many facets. They may appear as an old-time Appalachian pair stood by a wooden wagon, or as 90s indies rockers finding the essence of a Radiohead song, or they may strike you as a jam band. I've seen barefoot kids dead dancing to them in Golden Gate Park. She, the rhythm section, hair flowing like a monk painting, slumped in spent ecstasy over her guitar. He, spinning out a cascade of notes from beneath his freewheeling Franklin hat, like an oddly sober Jerry Garcia. <laughs> this may give you a clue. They are two beings in one entity. They are what John and Yoko might have been if they both played the same instrument. They are to whom I turn for late night insomnia texting, for three hour conversations about Bob Dylan, for cover paintings, and for high grade hoots in West LA. Ladies and gentlemen, they are Gillian Welch and Dave Rawlings. My goodness, um, you'd think, knowing that we were gonna get this tonight, I would have been less nervous. That's not true. Um, it's such an honor to get this here at home, uh, to be recognized where you live, and uh, by the Americana Association here in the Mother Church. It's very moving. And uh, a great honor to be presented this by Robin Hitchcock. Thank you. I just want to thank um, my first ever songwriting teacher, Pat Patterson, who gave me a great toolbox to use. And I really want to thank um, the first man who ever gave me a job uh, in songwriting, and that was David Conrad my publisher, a great song man. Um, I still have a vivid memory of sitting in his office and I'd only written a couple songs. One of them was Orphan Girl and I played it for him. Thanks. And uh, I got done and he said, well, I really don't know what we're gonna do with you, but I like your songs, so let's, let's do something. So. Uh, and that's still how we go about it. We never know what we're going to do with our songs, but we just try to make them as good as we can and see what happens. Thank you. Are you going to say something? something? Say something. Um, I hadn't really thought of much to say, but uh, I wanted to thank Gil for letting me work on the songs early in the day and then let me sort of work on them more as time went on. So thanks for that. <laughs> And I guess I wanted to say that um, I just thought we should recognize any of the, just the people in the world who maybe ever sang any of the songs that we wrote in the shower or, you know, in their living room or at a campfire or out of, on a stage or recorded them because our life with them, you know, only did a little bit, but like other people taking them and giving them a real life is the reason I think we got recognized for this. So thank everybody who did that. <laughs> All right, thank you all.